Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we have the AEW Double or Nothing 2020 two disc DVD review. So this was uh, taking a look back at last year's Double or Nothing pay-per-view. This was their first real big event during the pandemic. And, you know, I'm, I'm really happy AEW continued to truck along, continued pushing their product and whatnot, because this is actually one of my favorite pay-per-views they did. You know, despite being in front of, you know, zero fans and whatnot, absolutely uh, great pay-per-view. So this one would feature the first ever stadium stampede match. And this was uh, between Daly's Place and the TIA Bankfield, uh, you know, stadium there where the Jacksonville Jaguars play. TIAA Bankfield, yeah. Uh, very fun match. It's probably one of my favorite matches from uh, AEW's catalog. So overall, we got the pretty cool cover. You know, this is pretty much their one of their biggest events of the year. You know, it was their first event. It's a it's a cornerstone event of their their market. You know, including all out and probably revolution now but you know i'm a big fan of the the casino stuff the you know the the artwork and you know the different you know knickknacks and things like that they use you know big fan of that love the stage designs with the poker chips and all the playing cards i thought that stuff's really cool you know i i wish wwe would kind of move out of their HD screens and whatnot and bring out more, you know, classic sets like like this. So this would be the first uh, pay-per-view, I believe, for Brody Lee and Matt Hardy and AEW. We had special appearances from Mike Tyson, who was uh, introducing the TNT Championship. So, yeah, we got pretty much everyone on the cover. We got the Young Bucks, Paige, and Omega with Matt Hardy, Jake Hager, Guevara, Santana, Ortiz, Jericho. We got Moxley and Brody, and then Cody Rhodes, Lance Archer, and Mike Tyson. So, very cool. Moxley is now the champion as uh, he won at the couple of months prior at their Revolution pay-per-view. Then we got Brody Lee and Moxley there on the spine. So very cool. It is just really heartbreaking to, to see, you know, Brody was getting this success here. And, uh, you know, he would sadly pass away later that year. Very, very sad news. I mean, just totally unexpected you know, from a fan's point of view, it's, uh, you know, really emotional just thinking of it. So, we had nine matches on this show. This is a two-disc set. So, there is a bit more artwork. You know, we got dice and everything on the disc art. You know, actual disc art, you know. You know, I love it. No real artwork on the inside. But there is a complete match listing on the back, including the, uh, you know, the buy-in and the pre-show, what, what, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, we got Mike Tyson there with the TNT title. And the title did look incomplete, uh, which it was. So, they kind of hot-shotted it, and uh, that's kind of what they got. You know, we got a cool shot from the stadium. Absolutely loved it. 
you know, you either love those matches or you just hate them. I'm, uh, I just love the matches. Several shots from those matches. The, the never-ending uh, Northern Lights suplexes. Got Nyla Rose and Hikaru Shida. You know, shots from the uh, casino ladder match. You know, I love how they uh, they came up with new matches like the ladder match and the battle royal. Uh, maybe not a new, but a, a different spin to it. So the first one to pretty much grab the poker chip is going to be like the number one contender or whatever. So on the buy-in, we had the best friends versus private party. And the winner would get a AEW World Tag Title match. Uh, opening the show, we had the Casino Ladder match for a future World Title match. Brian Cage, Darby Allin, Colt Cabana, Orange Cassidy, Joey Janela, Scorpio Sky, Kip Sabian, Frankie Kazarian, and Luchasaurus. And let me tell you, that was a hell of a match to open the show with. We then had MJF and Jungle Boy. Absolutely, you know, two of the rising stars in AEW. Two of my favorites, you know, Jungle Boy, I think is a bit overlooked. You know, Jurassic Express, I, I think they, they're tag team championship caliber. And eventually, Jungle Boy, he could be a TNT champion anytime. Cody Rhodes versus Lance Archer, like I mentioned, for the first ever TNT champion. And this is a was only a singles match, but you know they pretty much let anything go. Uh, Cody, of course, had Arn Anderson. Archer had Roberts. Jake the Snake Roberts. You know AEW has used the legends pretty much perfectly. You know we. We see DDP once in a while. Tully is with FTR. You know, you have Arn, Jake the Snake. And then we had uh, Chris Statlander versus Penelope Ford. Dustin Rose versus Sean Spears. Hikaru Shida versus Nyla Rose, which was a no DQ, no count out for the AEW Women's Championship. John Moxley versus Brody Lee. That was a very good, hard-hitting match. Moxley and Brody just brought it to each other that night. And you got to keep in mind, these this is in front of no fans. So I imagine the, the shots are a bit stiffer. You know, you're you're really trying to, you know, get those shots in so it doesn't, doesn't come across cheap or anything. And then the main event was Stadium Stampede, the Elite which was Adam Page, Kenny Omega, Matt Hardy, Matt and Nick Jackson versus the Inner Circle. Uh, very good match. It went 34 minutes from beginning to end. You know, this was a pretty damn near perfect pay-per-view, except for a couple of matches here and there. You know, you're always going to have those. But this is one of my favorite uh, pay-per-views they've put on. Absolutely. We also, on uh, disc two here, have a Road to Double or Nothing special. I believe aired on their YouTube channel. So if you enjoyed uh, the video, let me know down below. If you were able to pick up this DVD, let me know your thoughts. You know, their AEW DVDs are available at the shopaew.com. Check it out, guys. They have new releases available now, including, you know, Full Gear, Revolution, and All Out from 2020. Revolution 2021 is out. So pick up those new DVDs. Let me know your thoughts, guys. And we'll talk to you later. Peace!